Most Southeast Asian cities are crazy. From Bangkok to Manila to Ho Chi Minh City, the sounds, smells, amounts of people and traffic is non-stop. These places are 24-hour cities with constant action, energy, car horns and people just doing things. So you can imagine how strange it felt when I ended up in the capital of Vietnam, Hanoi, a city of more than 8 million people and nothing was happening. Everything was shut. All the shops are closed. My God, I was going to see if I could get a haircut today, but I don't think there's a chance of that happening. It was the last day of the Lunar New Year and everyone had gone home to celebrate with their family, meaning this usually manic city was practically empty. a.m. in the morning at the moment. I guess the streets are usually empty at 6 a.m. in the morning, but today is the day where the whole city clears out and everyone goes back to their homes and back to their families. The Palace of Ho Chi Minh over this this way. So beautiful. To what's this building here? Oh, this is the Congress building. Everything is closed. Cafes, museums, restaurants. Everything's closed. There's like very few people out on the street. It's pretty interesting, to be honest. Look at this. This is like the main government street here. All the like government houses, different buildings, museums related to politics are all on this street here. What's the name of this street too? Huang Yu. Say again? Huang Yu. Huang Yu. Yeah. Huang Yu. Light just turned off. For many people, the idea of exploring a city with nothing open and no people might be boring. But for me, it was a unique privilege especially in a place like Hanoi, which is often defined by its busyness, energy, and chaos. It was beautiful and refreshing to be walking around a city where the most amount of action was a group of older people playing a game of traditional hacky sack called Jianzi in Chinese and Da Dou in Vietnamese. This is definitely one of the coolest things I've seen in Hanoi so far, these people in the background here are playing like this game of hacky sack, but it's like a little dart. It looks like a shuttlecock. And they kick it so far, and they're so impressed about it. So awesome. Under the statue of Lenin up here. So Lenin is watching, absolutely love it. I just tried it then and I had a big kick of it and it was as hard as a rock. So they're all wearing these special shoes. I didn't really realize. And then I kicked it with just like normal running shoes and it was so fucking painful. It's like a rock, that thing. So they're all wearing like special shoes and like gloves. And it came to me and I kicked it, kicked a bat and it hurt so much. When they said the city closes down for the Ted holiday, I didn't realize it would literally be the, the whole city. This is insane. Walking down the middle of like the old quarter here in Hanoi and there's no one there on the street. So it's really interesting. Even just from yesterday, all the shops are closed. My God, I was gonna see if I could get a haircut today, but I don't think there's a chance of that happening. But after searching for a hairdresser for more than half an hour, I managed to find one lady who was only open for one more hour. So I was her final customer of the year. The lady running the shop seems super, super nice, super friendly. <laughs> And as I tried to explain what I wanted, it was quickly becoming clear that we had different opinions on what is a good looking male haircut. Dev Tai Kong. Come on. See you again. Thank you, Hung. Hung, come on to you. <laughs> So good, Dao Eng. <laughs> Great haircut with Kung. <laughs> Come on. Chuk Mung Nam Oi. Chuk Mung Nam Oi. Oh, there it is. And that is the last, uh, my last activity in Hanoi, getting a haircut. That was great and she was such a lovely woman. So what a great way to welcome in the new year with a new haircut. Anyway, goodbye from Hanoi, Vietnam. Until the next clip, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.